Hey y'all, it is Larry from the Tiny Cabin. I am in the Tiny Cabin, and it's actually not bad right now. It is 63.3. And this time I am doing a video, and I haven't cleaned the cabin first to make it look all nice and pretty. So it's pretty much how, how it usually looks, you know, dirty dishes in the corner and stuff everywhere and I, I have a laptop but I don't use it I use my phone for everything I don't even know if you can see that yeah I use my phone for everything so let's see it's still kind of darkish they had diet dew on sale um, it doesn't look dark on the camera screen here it's it's really overcast it's just barely morning um, it is what is it it is 7 40 in the morning so let's see the dog is eating yum yum so the uh, charge controller has just turned from a moon to a sun and as you can see it is very 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 low uh, we had that one day of sun but it's been overcast the rest of the time so uh, we are going to go outside and do my daily chore here. And I apologize in advance if you can't hear me, which is probably a blessing to most of you, but it's uh, it's very windy. So, oh, and it's raining, or it has been raining. See the rain on the windows? Okay. So, the sun is not up yet. And it may not ever, but just in case, I have to get my solar panel set up. I'm trying to do this where people can see, which is hard. So, okay. Today's tilt angle, 57.8 degrees. Okay, we are off by quite a bit, so I'm, <coughs> I'm moving it with my foot in case you're wondering. <laughs> yes, this would be much better if I had some kind of an actual mechanism, you know, like maybe a piece of all thread. There, it's close enough. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, if I had a piece of all thread, I could just kind of, you know, throw some wing nuts on it and open it and close it as needed. Um, eventually, I do want to build something like that along with a uh, turntable so that I can rotate it to follow the sun because right now it's facing where the sun will come up over there. And then I come out and I turn it about midday because this right here yeah that is south it, it always throws me off because the cabin is here facing this way it was supposed to be with the roof facing south but they didn't get it that way they got it uh, I don't even know where it faces uh, yeah so that would be what east so southeast so the sun ends up right over here at the end of the day so it's about 45 90, 90 degrees i need to turn it to uh get every little bit of sun that i can however as you can see there there is no sun so it's going to be one of those days uh, i got my generator here which i'm going to have to fire up even though i barely have any gas because the battery is very very low as you saw and since I'm here, I might as well grab my cord and plug it in so that when I do fire up the generator, or actually maybe, I, maybe I'll just fire up the generator. I haven't checked this yet to see if this is long enough to reach where I moved the generator to. And it is barely. 
fence is here to kind of camouflage the generator so people don't see it. Because I ain't moving this thing every time I go to town. Yes, I know it says do not plug in items first. Screw them. Okay. So we're going to fire up the generator here. Okay, now we'll go inside so you can actually hear me. Come on, dog. Okay. We are back inside where it smells like uh, eggs and hash browns. Because that's what I had for breakfast just uh, a few minutes ago. So my charger, which I'm sure I mentioned before, uh, I switched from the new one that did not work to an old one that does work, which is right there. And it is charging right now at almost, well, it's only at 10 amps, so it shouldn't be charging more than that, but it looks like it's about 11 or almost 12. So we are up to 12 point whatever right now. It really needs to charge for a long time, but I don't have enough gas. So, and this piece of crap light will not shut off. Isn't that awesome? So I'll have to take it apart and fix it again like I have many, many times before. <sighs> there, it's fixed. Okay. Don't buy cheap ass lights. I think this one was $2.99 at TSC or something. It's a piece of crap. And sadly, the uh, $1 ones from Walmart work better. Come on. Get in here, dumbass. So, anyway, that's, that's my morning routine. I don't have much of a routine because there isn't much to do. I'm off grid, but I'm not homesteading. I don't have a wood stove, and I don't have a garden, I don't have a greenhouse, so, I mean, what is there, you know? Later, I have to go out and fix the outhouse, because I never finished it, and you can see, maybe, well, okay, you can't, let me, I'll try to get in there, yeah, I'm trying to move the blind out of the way, uh, yeah, you can see right there in the middle, there's nothing supporting the uh, corrugated. That's because I ran out of 2x4s. And I'm still out of 2x4s and I don't have any money to buy more. But I do have some scraps that I'm gonna stick in there to support it and screw to because when the wind blows, that thing is noisy as hell. I've been up since 3.30 this morning because it wouldn't shut up. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna do something about that later even if it is raining because I need to sleep. I like sleep. Anyway. Um, that is it really. I just wanted to show you the, uh, um, solar tilt thing, which that's what it's called. It's right there. Solar tilt. Um, you just throw your cell phone on your solar panel and it tells you the angle it's at and what angle it should be. So, um, oh, I have a blue glowing light in my ceiling um, that is because I wired this when I wired it um, the things only wired for 12 volt by the way um, I only have the two 12 volt outlets right there and they just go to the outlet outside to hook up the generator uh, so everything in here is 12 volt and uh, let me see I got the lights under there um, so I wired a drop here for a 12 volt ceiling fan like you would find in an RV. Then I found out that those things are really expensive and I'm poor. So uh, I had one USB port left. So I stuck it up there the other day because the heater here, it, it gets about 90 degrees up here. And at the floor, which is not insulated, I, I, I discovered, um, the non-insulated floor, it's usually about 45 or so. And then it's about 50, 55 here in the middle. So I 
did this. So now my $1 USB fan from Walmart is now a ceiling fan and it blows my heat back down which makes it much uh, much more even which is good I, li I like even the only bad thing is if you forget to put the cover on like I did last night this lights up the entire cabin and uh, for me that makes it kind of hard to sleep so and uh, I've got one over here too which I'm sure you've already seen but if I leave all of my things open, it's, it, it gets really bright in here at night. So I have one over here too, right there. Anyway, that is probably it. Um, when I do something actually exciting, I'll, uh, I'll do another video. Until then, got to save my data. So have fun. Talk to you all later. See ya.